All right, after the parent selection, I'm gonna choose a female plan to use after analyzing the data and finding the right characteristics I want. And I'm also gonna choose a male plant. Uh, it's important to remember that peas, as other plants, are self-pollinated, which means they have male and female flowers at the same plant. So the female I'm choosing, I have to remove the male parts of it. So, and the females are a little um, behind in development. So the, pe the sepals are not totally white. And I'm gonna choose this one as a female. The first thing I need to do is isolate my flower. With my tweezers, I open up the flower. All the way in the back. And what you're seeing here, the orangish, yellowish part of it, those are anthers and they have pollen. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the male parts, all the anthers. And I'm only gonna leave the ovary behind and the stigma with the ovary because that's the female part I'm interested on. So this is my female plant. Now I'm gonna go and move to the male plant and choose a flower that's further in development. So the pollen was already released, which can be this one right here. And when I open this flower, I can see they have, they are, have more white on them. And I'm gonna go ahead and scoop it up all the pollen. So that's what I want, the pollen release. And I'm gonna go and place on my female plant that was emasculated already. So I'm gonna make sure there's enough pollen attached to the plant. After that, I'm gonna close my flower and I'm gonna label so I can identify later on. And I'm gonna go ahead, place the tag on the plant. and just watch for the seed to develop. We always want to try to make crosses that's going to increase our yield. Number two factor, I think, is our quality. We want to m ensure that we have the quality that we need for our growers to market their product. Now, out of each family, you could take anywhere from 10 to 20 different single plant selections because they all could be just a little bit different. And then after that process, then they go into a yield trial to check the yield and quality. We, if we don't like the yield we got off the single or we don't like the quality, we throw it away. One of the keys to being a good plant breeder is knowing what to throw away. We'll make anywhere from 40 to 50 crosses per year. From the time we make the original cross till we release the variety to the grower can take 10 to 12 years. If we would release a variety, one variety every three years, we're doing good. It's important to, to a individual company because that's how they develop varieties and sell them and make the profits, make money. It's also important to the industry to keep improving the whole quality or the whole yield aspect of the whole industry to have a better product for our farmers and customers to sell. Mm -hmm.